They're serial rapists, and this is how they prey on their women. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. Janine Dunphy says she met Mark Papamichael in 2014 on the free website Plenty of Fish. And when she agreed to a date, she had no idea he was registered as a sex offender with three prior rape convictions. Dunphy says she and Papa Michael learned they had mutual connections. So after their first date, she felt comfortable going to his house. I went to his bathroom after that and he was hiding behind the door um, when I got out of the bathroom and he um, threw me across the bed and that was the end of it. Dunphy filed a police report alleging Papa Michael raped her. He was held for two years without bail in county jail, but was later acquitted. By 2016, Papa Michael was back on Plenty of Fish, where he matched with a woman who also went on to tell police he raped her. A pending criminal case against him was dropped in 2018 after the woman died of kidney failure. When Dunphy matched with Papa Michael, Plenty of Fish was not affiliated with Match Group. Now it's one of several free dating apps owned by the company, which tens of millions of people have used. Match Group has promised to screen against the sex offender registry list for specifically Match.com, but has not extended that to the rest of its apps. Hillary Flynn is with Columbia Journalism Investigations, and in a new story spearheaded by CJI, a Match Group spokesperson is quoted as saying, Saying, there are definitely registered sex offenders on our free products. In a statement, the company said the article is inaccurate and mischaracterizes Match Group safety policies. The question is that we're asking, should the company be doing more? Match.com began screening its subscribers against the National Sex Offender Registry in 2011, but Match Group says that it is not able to obtain sufficient and reliable information to make meaningful background checks possible for users of its free products. Dunphy says that discrepancy needs to change. A simple background check would have saved this whole thing from happening. It was created in a scientific lab, and no one knows what will happen next. Thank you for being a part of Get Ready Productions Social Media Network.